hi everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back at it again and i'm here with another video i'm in a good mood so that is good go ahead and like and subscribe to this youtube channel because i have a ton of gems that i want to give you guys all and this particular video is gonna be about um operating on lack of and i have my blank sheet of paper so if you see me looking down that's because i'm taking notes of as i'm giving giving you guys all something um i might come back to it later so i definitely want to take some notes so i said this video was about lack of Okay, so lack of, and what I mean when I say lack of is lack of something, having less than. So let me take that note down. And if you guys aren't busy and you're not in the car, because I don't want you guys to like be in the car and trying to take notes, but you can always come back to this video if you subscribe. So being without okay so so sometimes when we're without something we uh, cope with not having it or not having enough of something we could it could be money it could be food it could be love it could be anything so our brain is a beautiful thing and we cope with things because that's how we're designed. Okay. But when we be when we start operating on lack of not having something, in some cases we think that we don't deserve it. And it's not because we don't deserve it. It's because we're unfocused on it. They say if you focus on money, that's not good. Money is the root of all evil and things like that. But basically what I'm trying to say is when we start operating on lack of, I don't have the latest, so the latest is out the reach for me. That's not true. So, a lot of areas in our life, whether, no matter what you might be going through, you might be operating on lack of. And when you're in that lacking stage, it is hard to see the potential of a given situation. So, let me just, I'm going to give an example. This will be related to me. It won't be related to you. So, you don't got to worry about me selling y'all out on YouTube. But, okay, so... Basically, I had got myself into this situationship because we won't call this a relationship. It was more like an entanglement. So it was a situationship. And I like this guy or whatever. Um, he liked he liked and cared about me too. But when the relationship wasn't going the way at, I wouldn't even say it wasn't going the way that I wanted it to go. It wasn't going at the pace that I wanted it to go. Um, I had been in a relationship before this relationship entanglement thing. I was in a relationship before. And um, I, had was, I had been in that relationship for years and um, I wanted a marriage. and It just didn't go the way I wanted it to go. So when I got into this new situationship entanglement situation, um, when I saw that it wasn't moving at the pace that I would have liked it to move, because I guess I was kind of rushing and I wasn't looking at that at the time because, you know, I'm in the midst of it. But I started telling myself, you know, 
um, this isn't gonna go where I wanted to go. Um, I started to get frustrated and I start act, operating on lack of, lack of fulfillment, lack of thinking. So I started overanalyzing things and it really just ruined the relationship. It ruined the relationship. And now what I'm saying is that that situationship, although it wasn't a relationship yet because it was still pretty new, could have been something very beautiful, but I was operating on lack of. I was thinking that because of the old relationship, that this relationship, certain things seem similar. I started doubting that I deserve the what I wanted so basically what I'm trying to say is we have to start training ourselves to not operate on lack of if you're in a financial situation and I know a lot of people are crunched for cash right now don't operate on lack of because what happens when you operate on lack of it makes the situation worse. Instead, what we want to do is reverse the lack of, and we want to operate on something called abundance. Okay, so when you operate on abundance in a situation, it's when you look at the situation for what it is, and you focus on the potential of the situation or the potential all of the good things associated with what you're trying to achieve so if say you have a goal okay for example you don't you want to buy a house or you want to buy a car or you want to buy a chanel bag i don't know what you want to buy but what i'm saying is when you think about it What's preventing you from going to the store right now and cashing out on what you want? The house, the car, the Chanel bag. It's operating on the lack of that situation can't happen. Instead of getting in the mindset that this situation is possible, I just got to get on YouTube and I got to hustle a little bit harder. So, when we get out of that lack of mindset and we get into let's get it popping um i got a friend who know a friend let's get together let's form these businesses let's do this that's operating on abundance that means i'm not accepting that i can't afford this as my truth i'm gonna get it i'm gonna shake shake it i'm gonna educate myself i'm gonna read books i'm gonna watch youtube channels and anybody trying to give me free game i'm gonna take it that's operating on abundance when you operating on lack of it will leave you in depression whether it's financial depression um love depression um what else um anything you could relate this really to anything but stop if you're in a relationship stop operating on lack of um when you love yourself and you put the time and the energy into cultivating that love you have for yourself through god and you love yourself, you love the shoes that you're in, you love your body, you love where your life is at, you're going to find a partner that matches that energy. Um, when you operating on lack of, you get into these relationships just for momentary i don't even know what to say like um just like they're lustful they're um unfulfilling 
they're they're just whatever they are they're just it's just a temporary fix to loneliness but when you start operating and loving yourself on abundance and growth and when you look even when a relationship is starting and you look at the person and you have nothing but these positive feelings like you you're optimistic you're like oh this relationship this relation not saying that you should go into something willy-nilly but i'm saying that when you look at a person and you're like oh you know this could be he could be the one and you treat him like he could be the one he he gonna be the one but if you go into this with like mm -mm. Everybody in the past did me wrong, and ain't nobody gonna do right. So I can't trust nobody. Is trust issues that you're gonna get, and it's gonna bring up insecurities. That's gonna lead to operating on a lack of. A lack of love is gonna lead to. Okay, so I'm not going to go back around, but go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm going to be hit, hitting you guys with more inspirational type videos like this. So if you like them, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and just share. Tell a friend to tell a friend and just share my videos, please. Thank you.